Hey, what's going on guys? It's Uncle Kobe and today I have some cool Black Ops 2 information and tips that's all about zombies and more specifically the buildable items in zombies. So when the trailer first came out for zombies, we saw a glimpse of a thrown together riot shield that led us to believe that we were going to be able to create items that would help us as we just kill a buttload of zombies on the transit game mode. And today I have all six of the buildable items, uh, what they're made of and where to find them as well as bus upgrades uh, that you can find and soup up your transportation. So first off, we have the turbine and it's made out of a fan blade which is on some seats as seen here, a mannequin torso which is leaning up against the sign and a tail fin which is near the lockers. And obviously you guys don't have the game yet so locations aren't as important but I'll most likely make a video on all this stuff once you guys do have the game. Uh, but what the turbine actually is is a portable power source and it's extremely useful as you play. So at every bus stop except bus stop 4 I believe, there are doors that read you need a power source. These rooms contain bus upgrades as well as some of them have claymores or grenades and you will also need this to get into the pack a punch machine. So obviously this is something you're going to want to get and uh, make so you have the ability of getting all these awesome items that will help you along your way. But next one we got is Zombie Shield. We saw this in the little trailer of the zombies and it's made from a car door found in the garage and a dolly found in the diner. This one's pretty obvious how it'll help you. It's basically a redneck riot shield and uh, it should be very useful. So the next one is Machine Gun Turret and what you're going to need is a machine gun obviously which is found either in the house or the barn, an ammo pouch found either in the kitchen or the living room of the house, and a lawnmower found around the sides of the house. And I'm pretty excited to see what this thing can do. I just picture just a horde of zombies coming towards me and I pop on the turret and watch the bloodbath ensue. Uh, points racking up, hopefully you do get points for it. And uh, yeah, this thing just sounds awesome. But next we have the electric trap and we've actually seen this before as well. However, at the time we didn't quite know what it was, but it's made from a TV tube which is on the windows upstairs from the bench at the bus stop, a car battery which will be sitting on the barrel around the same area, and a Tesla ball assembly found usually beside the tombstone soda. So from the picture it doesn't really look like much of a trap, but I'm sure it must either kill the zombies or stun them from a short period of time, something along those lines. But next we have the Thrustodyne Aeronautics Model 23. And we've also seen this, but no one had a clue of what it was. Tons of videos were made guessing, you know, what it was, saying it was the Wonder Weapon and all this stuff. But first, it's made from a jet engine found in the tunnel between bus stops 1 and 2, wire found in the same area as the electric traps part, and a headlight found in the cabin where the Bowie knife is between bus stops 4 and 5, handle found at the World at War section of the map on the right side of the road between bus stops 3 and 4. And when I say World at War section, it's because there's a part of the map that's supposed to be the ruins of the Nocter Orkton. I'm not sure if I try to say that, but anyways, it isn't really a wonder weapon, but it does shred zombies up to little pieces of piles of disgusting sludge. Literally, that's what it does, but there are quite a few downsides to it. For one, it's really heavy, like more than you would expect, and the gun will only deal exactly 50,000 damage points to a zombie horde before disappearing. So it's pretty lame, you know, that it has a limit on it, especially when you take so much time to make it, you know, finding all those parts. So the last item is the nav card usage machine and first off you must play on the original difficulty at least to get it no easy mode here uh, but what you're going to need is the purple rock in the hole besides the mystery box location at the bus stop one control panel number one in that world at war part of the map uh, in the corn maze on the right side of the road between bus stops three and four a uh, wooden board under the stairs by the workbench at bus stop four and lastly control panel number two leaning against the dumpster besides the mystery box location at bus stop five so there's a lot of stuff here that you're gonna have to get for this one I'm not totally sure what it is exactly but I'm guessing the nav in nav card um, stands for navigation something you know it might help you get around a little easier something along those lines and lastly are the upgrades for the bus so first is the train grill which stops zombies from entering through the front windows a ladder that allows players to climb up to the roof of the bus from the outside Hatch door which opens the roof for players to enter or leave the bus and there's also a three round burst pistol on the roof of the bus. So again, I know this was just a crap ton of information, but in a week when you have the game and are playing zombies, you can come back here and refresh your memory on all these things. And like I said, I was planning on making a video for you guys going in depth and hands on with all this stuff. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. It took a lot of time digging around for this stuff and editing it. So if you did, please leave a like, maybe even a favorite. That would be greatly appreciated. Later today, I have a short video involving a Black Ops 2 early copy giveaway. So be on the lookout for that. Hope you guys are having a great day. This was Uncle Kobe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.